Hello, I'm Leonard Garrison, Associate Professor of Flute at the University of Idaho. And in this series of videos on intermediate level French solo flute repertoire, I'm here to tell you about this wonderful piece by uh, Louis Aubert. He's a French composer, conductor, pianist, singer, and critic who lived from 1877 to 1968. He studied composition, as many of the French composers did, at the Paris Conservatory with Gabriel Fauré, one of the great names in the history of French music. And Maurice Ravel wrote his famous piano piece, Valse Noble et Sentimentale, for Louis Aubert. And Aubert gave the first performance of Ravel's piece. He was best known for his ballets, operas, and film music. His piece Lied, which in German means song, is available in the collection Contemporary French Recital Pieces, Volume 1, published by the International Music Company. This piece is rated level E by the National Flute Association. So because it is a song, the flutist must spin out long phrases, shape the melody according to contour and harmony, and use a beautiful full tone with vibrato. Now the secret to playing long phrases is number one, take plenty of time breathing before a long phrase rather than a quick breath at the last moment. And of course, you have this opportunity at the beginning of the piece because you have four and a half measures to prepare for the first phrase. So you should really be breathing throughout that whole time instead of a little sippy breath at the end of that rest. Number two, open your lips, mouth, throat, and body to inhale. Uh, the, your stance really affects how much breath you're going to get in. If you crowd your shoulders, you don't have any place to put the air. So the distance between the shoulders should be greater and you have to stand up straight. And uh, I always think of this bone uh, that the ribs are attached to, the sternum, keeping that upright and that expands your breathing capacity. And number three is use an efficient airstream and focus the tone without wasting air. Now my favorite exercise for getting a good big breath is what I call the finger breath. And many brass players use this technique. And let me explain it. You're going to put your fingers perpendicular to your lips, right in front of your mouth, you're first going to expel all your air and breathe through your fingers, drawing the air through them. The goal is to be as open as possible in all of the places we talked about, the lips, the mouth, the throat. And if you're sufficiently open, you can get um, a sound like a big, huge, dark vacuum cleaner, sort of a Darth Vader sound. So let me demonstrate. If you're getting more of a higher pitch, sippy sound, you aren't sufficiently open. So try dropping your jaw, really opening for the air. and then you're ready to go. By the way, meno forte means softer. So at measure 28, play piano, in contrast to the previous forte. An appropriate tempo for this piece, which is marked andante espressivo, or walking expressively, is quarter equals 88. Moving forward at the poco animato, to quarter equals 100, and then back to the original tempo at tempo primo. No tempo change is marked at the ending, but take time to enjoy 
the E flat and F natural, which depart from the main key of G major. To prevent a drop in pitch during the final note, keep the air moving and keep the embouchure focused, but not tense. So now let's enjoy a performance with myself, Leonard Garrison, flutist, and my wonderful colleague, Roger McFay, pianist, also on the faculty of the University of Idaho, and performing Louis Aubert's lead for flute and piano. Thank you. 